Hello everybody, this is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. Wisdom Seekers is coming along. It's going to be nice, but it's not quite there yet. This is my logo. It's Phoenix Rampant Rising, of course, because Phoenix always rise. But this is for, um, you can find me on Facebook. Where we have a messenger, Meta, 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 designed specifically to reach out to me. Uh, YouTube, of course, Facebook, and Twitter. P please feel free to reach out and talk to me. This is, uh, this is for uh, so this is for fire sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for May twenty third, twenty twenty three. Let's see what we've got. I've pulled the cards. I just haven't read the cards yet. First card I've got. This is, this is a deep subconscious change that has been coming along for a while. The subconscious has been cutting little strands of it, that of energy that have kept whatever it is you're well, supposed to deal with tied down on your subconscious, so it's bouncing up to the surface. It is a major healing day, major healing. So it's probably something you've been dealing with for quite some time. The interesting thing, though, is the, the moon card that goes with it. And the moon card is two levels, of course. It's the subconscious that uh, we have to deal with on a daily. But the people who watch my, watch my uh, dailies, they've dealt with the subconscious for many, many moons sent years in fact and so they're actually very good at dealing with uh, the subconscious information that's coming up because if you look at it there's the maid the matron and the crone and the crone means wise woman it it, it, it has been made into to mean an old ugly person but in truth it just means wise woman and at each stage, there is a wisdom that goes the, the maid, the matron, and the crone. There's a different kind of wisdom at each stage. So this is something you're very capable of dealing with because you have dealt with it before. And, and so and, and not particularly this subconscious uh, problem, but subconscious problems that come to the surface you've dealt with before you know how to deal with it you have the ability will it take a bit of work yes of course it will this is the ten of wands nothing comes free whatever we do whatever change we create there is a cost whether we like to pay the cost or not there is always a cost whenever you open a new door which clearing up an old old uh, subconscious memory there is a cost and it might be the loss of a friend the loss of a belief and uh, but we have to leave that which no longer serves us behind so the cost is directly proportionate and directly related to what you what you're dealing with what you're allowing to shift and change. We think, oh, this is wonderful. And then we don't realize that when we shift and change, we're no longer the same person. And it and we do we we have to go through the grief periods of mourning. Mourning that which we were and not knowing exactly that which we are now. But it is, of course, a massive healing because this is the major he, the hierophant. It's a major arcana, so is the moon card. It's very important that you realize you've got the skills. And each time, each time you, uh, each time you clear something up, you you get better and better at it, and uh, it it becomes easier and easier. You will, of course, allow yourself to bring in new information. And this has been happening quite regularly for the last couple weeks, months. New information, more, which creates more wisdom, believe it or not. But it's new information 
that we've known for centuries but forgotten. So as somebody said, it's so old it's new. And uh, allow that information to come in, allow it to sit within you for a while before you, and then when you start talking and you realize you truly understand it, then utilize it. You do, of course, have a lot of support. You have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is this, is a, a, indeed st support. It's it lended strength, which actually is your own strength. You just don't realize it. It's a continued shifting and changing because we're not going to stand still. But the most important part to me is the cup. And to me, that's the Holy Grail. And the Holy Grail to me means knowledge. The more you know thyself, the better it is. The more you know what's happening, the better it is. The stronger you become. So allow yourself to be the Six of Wands, which is you're, you are pleased to be in for life, a winner circle. You and your guides and your angels, they're all there with you. They're all going, we did it. Because we don't do it alone, though it feels very often like we do it alone. But honestly, nobody is ever completely alone. Mm -hmm. We have, Just remember, Free Will Universe asks your guides daily, hourly, will take us to a new beginnings. It will take us to a place where we are. It's a different form of happiness. It's one you probably not used to, but it's a calm, quiet. Yeah, this is cool. Strength. So allow that to be and allow yourself to grow without fear. We 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 always have that sense of loss, but go with it because what's there that's coming is better than what we anticipate. Namaste, Namaste, I love you and you I do love. Bye.